Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with card 12 for the Altered Index, hashtag Altered Index 2024 challenge by Suzanne at Nonstop Paper Crafts. All the information is in the description box below. Um, so I have just taken scraps, hashtag come on get scrappy, um, from my stack back, or scrap scrap baskets, stacked scrap baskets, and um, the prompts are calm, weather, and silver. So the only thing I don't have in here as of yet is the silver, and I have this paper, but I don't have my index card, so hang on. Easily enough to remedy. Um... Yeah, I think these are going to be slightly smaller. Yes, and they are. So I'm going to um, tear those. But I have some... I've kind of played with it a little bit to see how I want it. And I've got a couple more stacks. I thought I'd do three. Um, let me get this piece off just so that I can play with it and not have to worry about that little white spot showing. So um, I do have my silver rub... Uh, rub on stuff here for the edges, but I think I'm going to put a charm. So let's look. Um, are these my charms? Well, there's some of them. Let's see. This might not be the one I'm looking for, but let's 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 look. Um, I do have these. I, I'm dying to put these on something. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just put some silver clips. Um, because, I don't know where, I don't, all of my charms are kind of like this brass color. I don't have a lot of silver. I have silver chain. And guys, I have to show you this really super quick. What does that look like? If you said mirror, mirror on the wall, you would be right. I have got a uh, Snow White journal coming up in the not too distant future. What else do I have? Do I have something silver in here? I, I'm, I'm having a hard time with my lighting. I can't tell if it's silver or what, but I do have a couple of things in here, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think I'm going to use for this particular one, look for the Snow White uh, coming soon. Um, well, or should I say uh, winter uh, princess I don't know will I get struck if I <laughs> if I use the words so I'm gonna take these out uh, for now that'll be my silver and I'm also gonna do silver around the edge um, I've got a ton of those uh, clips and and I don't hardly use them I need a little bit of book page so I'm gonna take some of this dictionary page and um, just kind of pull out a couple of pages here. I don't think I'll need all this, but just in case, let's see. have it available. And let's get started. So um, I'm going to make these vertical. And so I'm not really um, too concerned about whether this covers the whole thing. I'm just going to kind of glue it in the top corner and then we'll uh, book page. Um, probably put, maybe I should put the book page on first. Um, but I want the actual words, so let's tear this. don't want the white or well it's not white in this case but off white I want to actually see the words wow this is tearing nicely today I'm gonna go right along the edge of those letter P's well got too cocky okay all right so 
I am going to get my glue stick out. I'm just going to I think I'm just going to glue this whole thing. Try not to really run over the edges too much. I mean, I want to cover the edges, but I don't necessarily want to gouge my glue. I'm trying to be a little more careful. And I'm going to get this down before so I can slide this over. No! I do want to make sure that I have the whole thing covered. There we go. Alright. Once you get that on there, that, that helps. And we will cut this out. Maybe I should just tear it. Um, it's getting away from me with the... Although this one might be a little... I don't know. Let's use my knife. Sometimes the book page with the knife uh, kind of bunches up a little bit. But I think that did okay. All right. All right, so we have that, and then I'm going to put this on its side. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, because I, I'm covering up everything, I just wanted this, if, I don't know, it kind of looked like rain droplets to me. Um, and one of the, did I tell you the words? The, ter the words were calm, silver, and weather. And I'm not really doing rain or or uh, any weather. I'm doing spring. And I found a quote on Canva that said, uh, keep calm, spring is here. And so I went through my ephemera and I found things that were related, you know, related to spring. So I am going to, well, I guess I'll just leave a margin. Let's leave a margin. And then we will uh, ink the edges. So, Because we are going to cover most of this. Now, I have these corner punches. So I thought I would take these and do some fancy punching um, with our little girls here. I really love these punches, guys. I don't know why I didn't spend the $13 before. Oh, my word. All right. I'm going to use this glue again, so I'm going to keep it close. But I want my, I want to ink around these edges so that they pop. Yeah, just make a frame. Love those border punches. Okay. All right. And let's see. Did I have this here? I'm trying to remember where I put everything. I think I have that. And then we have this little bird. So this is, I believe, from, I don't remember, and I, I'm sorry, guys, I don't remember whose these are. Uh, because I, I do remember that this, I think it was a Friday freebie. If it's not a Friday freebie, then it's G Kerr's. Um, but uh, I don't know where these ephemera pieces came from unless they're from Pink Monarch prints, uh, which they may very well be. Otherwise, I have no idea. Okay. But... I like this guy. I was going to put him right under here. And then this, um, I think I want to just tear this and, and leave an edge that I can ink a little bit more. Um, 
this in Canva was a photo and I had a hard time editing it. I couldn't, I wanted to have brown type, um, but because it wasn't uh, a text, it was a image, it came in as an image photo, um, I had to photo edit it and the best I could do with changing the tones was to do like a coral something and that's how it came out. I had to do colors that would print with my printer since I still haven't gotten my ink. So I think I want to put this here like this and then I have um, this looks like wild carrot to me. Have you ever seen those growing? We Last summer on our way to Washington we um, we saw these everywhere beautiful on the sides of the road um, we stayed in Corvallis which is about a half an hour off of uh, 99 yeah I like that and just oops stuck to my fingers but I think I'm gonna do it like that maybe I'll tuck that under what do you think I like it so let's see if I have all my components I have um, calm and uh, I'm going with spring weather and like I said the background had the little dots that reminded me of rain but I'm not specifically going for rain because I have spring and I'm thinking spring weather so I'm kind of being a little loose with it but I also have these silver clips and I want to do the silver edges so I think that covers it let's let's glue things down all right so we've got the background and I think the little birdie can go first. I do love these little birds. So I'm just going to leave that same kind of edge here on the bottom that we had around the top. And then we'll glue on our little girl. I don't know, these little, uh, I think that, like I said, I think they're Valentine's, and so to me, Valentine's uh, Day uh, was always like the kickoff for spring. You know, I grew up in Arizona, and now I live in California, so we have an early spring. We don't have, we don't get stuck like y'all do sometimes. I think I'm going to come down here and cover up this little uh, crest, if you will. I think that's what it's called. I'm going to stick it over like that. And then that way I can actually glue that right on top. So let's do that. Cover up that little crest um, since we don't have anything in it. <laughs> Still glued it down to the page. Right there. And I, there again, I'm just leaving the same margins all the way around every everything I put down. Is it straight? It doesn't look straight. And it could be that my background is not straight. I think that works. All right, let's do this piece. The wild carrots. I've never um, had carrots uh, grow to full size or uh, this big to see them flower like that. Um, I've always had uh, my daughter when we planted our garden <laughs> she used to pull them out when they were teeny tiny and eat them. Uh, she she was she couldn't wait so we were doing square foot garden so there were only like 16 and she ate them all out of the garden. So yeah, I, I never had seen those before last summer, which I thought was really cool. All right, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get some of this rub-on stuff. And um, just kind of rub around the outside on that book page. It doesn't have to be a lot. And just enough to know it's there doesn't necessarily uh, be full on shiny but there are some areas that will have more than others and I like that actually I really like it and then I'm just gonna stick this here 
right about there. What do you think? I'll probably sew around this like I always do, um, but I like it. So let's do two more, and I will fast forward these because I'll probably do them uh, at the same time. I think I'm going to sew around these and then I will um, probably put these clips. I'm missing one. There it is. Um, yeah, just like that. So there we go. I am going to uh, go sew these really quickly and then I'll be back. Okay, so there we go. That is altered, hashtag altered index 2024. Sorry, I always have to repeat it. Uh, the weekly challenge number 12. Uh, the words were calm, silver, and weather. And I kind of used a little bit of um, leeway with my weather. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm counting spring weather. So... <laughs> Keep calm. Spring is here. Um, and enjoy. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.